Okay, in this video, we're going to look at why you shouldn't use if. And obviously, that's not going to be a universal statement for all scenarios, but definitely in some scenarios, you're better off keeping away from the if statement or even the ifs function. So I'll give you an example here. What we're trying to do is get the discount for these transactions, and it's based on the quantity purchase. So 20 or more, get a 10% between 15 and 19, 8%, 10, 14, 5%, etc. So if you were to do a nested if or ifs, it would look something like this. So you'd have to evaluate the quantity purchased against these thresholds and then return the assigned discount percentage. So that creates quite a long formula, especially if you have lots of thresholds. So a much easier way is to use VLOOKUP. And yes, VLOOKUP rather than X lookup is just quicker. So your lookup value, well, that would either be one of these quantity purchased, or if you're in XR365, you can choose all of them, comma, and then your table array is over here. I don't need to lock it because I've got an array of lookup values here. And then my call index number will be two. And then if I don't put zero or false at the end of the VLOOKUP, is going to do what it calls an approximate match, which will return the correct discounts. So much shorter formula than the nested if or ifs equivalent. Here's another example. Now here, what we're trying to do is work out whether we should restock. So if it's a category A product, we've got to restock at a minimum level of 40. Category B, minimum level of 80. Category C, minimum level 10. Now we can do this by combining if, or, and and, just looking at the pairings of letter and threshold and working out some sort of logic there. So a long formula, shortened again by using VLOOKUP. So I would look up these values in this table over here returning the values in column two. And for this, I am doing an exact match. So that'll be zero or false at the end. And that will return the restock level. So if I then say, are these values less than the VLOOKUP? I get my trues and my falses. And then contradicting myself slightly, I would use an if. So my logical test would be that. And then I would say, yes, if the test is met, otherwise an empty text string. So I have used an if there just to contradict myself, but you can see that that's a much shorter formula than the if or and equivalent. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.